Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my this particular video, I am going to show you one reverse engineering. What is that? So in my previous video, I have shown you what is the concept of positive skewness and what are the different techniques to re reduce the positive skewness, right? So this is one histogram which basically representing one positive skewed data, okay? How you can understand? See, majority of the data is concentrated at lower values of x and at very high value of x, small number of data points are present. So this is positively skewed data, right? Now, what we have done to reduce the skewness, just try to think. We have applied square root transformation, cube root transformation, log transformation. So, if square root transformation, suppose consider square root transformation, so if square root transformation can reduce the skewness and convert positively skewed distribution to normal distribution, so what we can do if we apply reverse engineering, that is if we take one Gaussian distribution which is standard for normal Gaussian distribution and then if we square them, okay, that time we should get positively skewed distribution because from positively skewed distribution to get Gaussian distribution we are doing square root. So from Gaussian distribution if you want to uh, go back to positively skewed distribution what we can do we can take square as simple as that right. So let us do and have a try in MATLAB okay. So CLC clear all close all warning off okay. So why I am uh, showing you this particular implementation to make the feeling more stronger okay so that you can have a clear idea that it concept this transformation is applicable in both way okay that is positively skewed to Gaussian that is square root from Gaussian to positive skewness that is square transformation we can apply and this can be helpful to visualize some statistical concept also which I am going to show you in my upcoming videos right so what I am going to do first first I am creating one standard Gaussian distribution using Randen. Okay, you can simply write here help Randen and you can get what it does actually. It actually generates random number which basically Gaussian follows Gaussian distribution. Okay, see returns n by n matrix if you write Randen n uh, containing pseudo random values drawn from standard normal distribution. Okay, that is mean is 0 and standard deviation is 1. Okay, so what I am going to do generally whenever we generate uh, or we play with machine learning we take column right our data set should be column wise. So I am taking column wise one matrix okay one two three five six, six zeros and one okay. So this is what is our data set I have taken uh, it, it is not a small data set obviously you can understand from the value. Let me just show you the data set distribution okay. So what the data set distribution should follow? It should follow Gaussian distribution, right? Because we are using random, right? I am taking 100 bins. Now let me just run this particular whole code and see beautifully we are getting Gaussian distribution mean at 0 and standard deviation 1, right? Now what we can do? We can basically create our positively skewed distribution x1 I am considering. So from positive skewed distribution to go to Gaussian, we have done square root. So this time we are going to do square. Okay. So x power 2. Is this correct? No. It should be dot power 2 because this is one array or vector or matrix. So element by element squaring has to be done. Okay. Right. So let me first show you the data set. Okay. Figure plot x1 and I am taking line style as dot. Okay, control A evaluate selection. So this is our Gaussian distribution which is basically distribution for X and this is what is our positively skewed data set whatever we are getting after squaring. Okay, so what you can understand from this data set plotting. See, it indicates most of the data are concentrated at lower values. Okay, see within maximum 8 or 10 most there is huge concentration of our data set and at higher values very less amount of data is present which is nothing but what which is nothing but positive skewness right so we can visualize better if we just 
draw the distribution so i'll be writing just copying this and pasting here and this will be histogram for our this positively skewed data x1 okay so control a evaluate selection let's check see three different graph we are getting this is our actual uh, gaussian di gaussian distribution data set this is what is we are getting after squaring the gaussian distribution di distributed data and see this is nothing but what following positive skewness i hope you can clearly understand at smaller values most of the data sets are concentrated at higher values there is very less amount of data present right so see perfectly working our whatever we thought that it should work in both way right so this is what is the uh, code to model positively skewed data in matlab right so i hope you have understood this concept same code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can check there thank you for watching